eyes. Girl, don't get eyes. Me, Angie. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Um, as you can see from this eye look, I did do this look in another video, which I will leave down below. Um, it's probably gonna go either gonna well, either it's gonna go up before this one or after this one. Um, probably gonna go after because um, uh, this video is like timely. Um, anyways, so again, we are back with another anti haul. Um, especially I thought it would be good because we are in the holidays and I was going to film this last week but I was so tired last week but I did take some screenshots of some things and um, and we are going to go check out again our uh, trend mood and there has been a couple months ones that came out recently but let's get started with the ones I have on my phone. Alright. So the first one I see is the it's already out now. It's the quartz palette from ColourPop. ColourPop. Um, again, it's like your basic, basic every other ColourPop palette. Um, I do like the shimmers, the individual ones, which is nice. But it's like the same recycled one. And speaking about ColourPop, they also have this one. That's of uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, and it looks like this. And again, it's based off the cartoon, I think. And so Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer is a classic, and so it goes with the same neutrals and a pop of color. Um, the lips are basically like a red and a nude, like they always have. Um, they have little glosses, the highlighter, and the gels, um, but yes, it includes lip scrub and a cool mint soap and two hair clips, so that's the whole collection, um, anyway, so both of them are the new ColourPop collections, um, they're very standard for ColourPop, I feel like, I don't know what's going on, but they, like, Coming out with so many releases, it's like the same thing over and over again, um, which is quite, in which is interesting because another ColourPop released, I know some of the ColourPop, which was like in addition to the Baby Yoda palette, the Mandalorian palette, which again is like the same recycled, I feel like it's the same shade from the Quartz palette, but in this one they added like a, a pop of yellow to it, which again... Like, I know it's supposed to be Mandalorian, Mando, but they did have some collections with it, so it includes the Baby Yoda palette and the little mirror. The mirror's cute! I love Baby Yoda, but I don't know if I want to spend it like that. Um, another one which I'm kind of, like, sick of is, like, the Disney collabs. Like, this one's with Beauty Bay. Um, why are there so many Disney collabs, like? Colourpop, just it's not anywhere for Christmas ones. Um, yeah, Colourpop that has their Disney ones. Um, I think Essence had one. Um, Best Semi Cosmetics has like their sh things. Um, yeah. Another brand that also does a lot of collabs and a lot of like fast releases like ColourPop is Makeup Revolution. They are now doing the holiday one which is Elf. And I did see it at Ulta and it was like not that great. Um, I'm not really, okay, unpopular opinion. I'm not really a big fan of Elf. Don't come at me. I don't know, I just don't, there's nothing really... I'm a huge fan of the Grinch, which is another basic one, but yes, um, yeah, it, it's basically like the same big releases that they do, um, I don't know the quality of it, it's, I mean, it okay, but, mm, um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see, oh yeah, Another one that's coming out is Estee Lauder. Well, well, yeah, sorry. Lancome with 
Emily in Paris. And today when I'm filming this, the second season trailer came out. And and this is the palette. It looks very black. Like it's cool shades, but then I feel like it's not really gonna work on everyone. Um I've tried watching Emily in Paris and I can only take five minutes of it because I cannot watch it. It was like so bad, so cringy. I feel like in a way we all need those cringy shows at one point. Um so yeah, I yeah, it's like random one. Plus it's like home, so you know it's expensive. Um what else? Oh yeah. This is Lucis palette. This is their holiday one. Yeah. We all know me and sisters have a beef. I'm still waiting for my refund. I mailed it to them. And everything. Yeah, let's just move on. Um, me and this brand are never gonna work out again. I follow them. They love cute stuff. Still follow them, but me and this brand, we are not. Mm -mm, not no more. Let's move on to some stuff that I want to buy. But. One I did see yesterday that inspired me to me was the Alamar Cosmetics with Encanto from Disney. I know I was sick of Disney Coulombs, but look at it. Look at it. I want to see Encanto so bad that, like, it looks so cute. Um, finally, there's a main character that looks like me. And also, Alamar Cosmetics is a Latina owned brand, so it makes sense for this collab. And I definitely want to order it. Once I got money. But anyways. Um that's one I really want. Um one that I feel like I'm very disappointed but not surprised is Mira. Mira Harry. Mira Nene. Yo no voy a pagar 75 pesos para un nail polish. Okay? The Harry Styles nail polish. Look, I love Harry, but $65 is a lot. It's pleasing, his new brand. Um, it's... The packaging is nice. But, it just came out of nowhere. It really did. I don't know. I don't know. And if you're going to use skincare, can't stop it. Another one, moving on to what I do want is the Milk Cosmetics, this one, which is, I realize it's like the same as the Encanto one, so I'll probably have to choose which one I want, even though Milk Cosmetics is a little bit pricey. So, um,. Yeah, it's definitely like, okay, which one is good, which one... Honestly, most formula is really good, and so is Alamar Cosmetics. So again, they are they are also like Latina home brands, POC woman of color own brands. So that makes me harder because I love supporting woman of color brands. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> one that does not make sense is like the Domini Cosmetics holiday palette it's basically like a bunch of like if you want to do like a pinkish nude thing and then one sparkle and it looks basic in a way it's like one that you probably just have in your collection already so it does a color pop with this one collection it's basic just like color pop even though it's not like their typical square palettes it's like a rectangle palette which is interesting, but again, it's just nudes. We all at one point have a Justin Nudes palette. <sighs> again, with the spiel of what, what anti haul is, the Ariana Grande are I am for you, from you. I don't know. I just the highlighters are a lot. The eyeshadow palettes, I don't know. Like, I know it's like for her style, like the way she does, like they do her makeup and everything. 
but it's just a lot. Like, especially like um, the packaging of the lipstick sounds cute. The packaging is cute for the lipsticks, but everything else, I'm not impressed. And also, like, the pastel ones look very ashy already in the photos to me. So, let me know. Are y'all going to pick it up? Or, or if you know anyone, I did see that one YouTuber got um, reviewed it. Um, but, um, we will see. Let me know if you're going to pick it up or any of the palettes I, any of the collections I pick, or his talk, or his talk, any of the collections I'm talking about you're going to pick up, let me know down below or let me know your thoughts on it or any other anti-haul. Um, okay. I know I was talking crap shit about the, um, Warren 20 ColourPop collection one, but I'm really intrigued with the dark lipsticks. I'm trying to get into the dark lipsticks so much, like, honestly, this is the darkest one I have, but I want to so bad because I want to live my goth dreams. Um, Kat, Kat here on YouTube, she has inspired me to do the, the dark lipstick look. I want to do one every time. Now that, like, I mean, now that we can not wear a mask at work if we, you don't know, have to, but that's what you're supposed to wear mine, but maybe, like, I still do my eye makeup and stuff, so maybe when I feel more comfortable or I see other co-workers with other masks, I will break out a full face of makeup again with the lipstick, with the dark lipstick. Um... Let's see, another one. I know there was another one I had. Um, oh yeah, like the Jaclyn Hill collabs is like, um, it looks very gaudy. I don't know. Yeah, it looks very, very gaudy, which is, I don't know, I know that's her style and everything. And again, I know something happened with that collab. But are we surprised? It's like I wanted to give her a chance, but one okay, one that the packaging is amazing is the House of Gaga with or House of Gucci, you know, Father Son House of Gucci. Um, it looks very cool. I like it. The packaging is like so good. It's like. Casa Gaga Italian Glam. And so obviously it's like Italian and you know Lady Gaga is always saying she's Italian. <laughs> if you look like in her past interviews. Um but yeah, so it's available. It's now now available through House of Labs and Amazon. The only thing is that you know how they are with Amazon, I'm like ah. Well, I'm sorry I'm talking too fast. I'm just ooh about all this makeup trends. Um speaking about another one which is like another Ulta another one, Disney is the Morphe and Disney one. Saw it in person, not impressed. Especially with the Mickey Mouse one. It was like a four like like a nine pan one. It looked very ashy. I was not impressed by it. Um, the lights, lights look like horror of Kathleen Lights with the Friends one. It's so cute. I think, I know she'll watch it, but Laura, don't be surprised and maybe I get you this for Christmas or something because we both love Friends. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm looking. Oh yeah, well, another Dominique Cosmetics one is the um, Coral Blossom one. I don't know, it doesn't scream coral to me. Like, when I see coral, I think of like the ColourPop Coral palette, which I will leave back here. And 
honestly like peachy which is like coral I think like peach colors peach tones like pinks definitely not this um and then that one pop of like the purplish highlighter it looks purple to me that really you know as a tiktok is giving what it needs to give Remember that. Giving what it needs to give. Yes. <laughs> um, apparently Revolution's gonna come out with its own perfume brand. Which is interesting. Um, Morphe already has another collection now. But it's with Pony's Makeup. I don't know who that is. If y'all know who that is, like, like my papi says, la casa la conoce ni la dan comida. That's so bad. Oh, color, oh, I just saw this right now. CoverGirl is releasing a skincare brand. Um, if you don't know, CoverGirl is cruelty free now, and they are releasing a dry skin corrector cream, a hydrating cream cleanser, Magnifying oil free <clears throat> moisturizer, glow mist, and water cream. It is coming soon, which is going to be interesting. Maybe I'll try it out. <clears throat> Even though I really like my skincare right now. Um, but, um, I know right now Sephora is having their sales, or they had their sales. I am wanting to pick up a lot of the Ray Beauty items. Um, maybe I'll try her palettes out too. I will see. Um, but let me know what y'all got at the VIP sale or insider sale, whichever you're part of. So let me know. Um, Christian Dior. Um, Tarte is releasing again their Tarte's Bloom palette, and they also have, I did see on the Ulta website, they have their the Amazon. Play collection, remember? They have an eyeshadow palette. Sorry, surprise of Tarte. <sighs> that was a lot. Um, yeah. Let me know what y'all want to see. I'm sorry I was speaking so fast. My throat's dry. It was just a lot of collabs, and I feel like I'm behind on this video. Um, let me know what y'all are, if y'all are gonna pick up anything, what you're not gonna buy. Um, what I'm not gonna buy. Sorry. <laughs> um, let me know what y'all are going to do. Um, what are y'all gonna buy, what you're not gonna buy. Um, what y'all think of these, let me know what y'all think of these releases too as well. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you all have a good, lovely rest of your week, day, month, whenever you're seeing this. Remember to yeah, remember to wear a mask if you aren't vaccinated, or if you are vaccinated, get your booster maybe. Get vaccinated, y'all. Um, and yeah, have a good one. Bye, adios. Ooh.